Colombian neighborhood, uh, COVID health Nazis, 100%. 100%. Canada was, Canada opened the door to Nazis after World War II to come into Canada, right? Canadian government gave two standing ovations to Nazis, not in the 1930s, 1940s, 1950s, or 1920s. They gave two standing ovations to Nazis, the entire Canadian government, last year. Giving standing ovations to fucking Nazis. And people don't think we have a fucking problem in the Western world. We got our entire government in Canada giving standing ovations to Nazis. And nothing came of it. Right? They put the blame, they, they threw the House Speaker under the bus and said, you're going to have to resign because people realize we're giving standing ovations to Nazis and uh, our second in command in Canada is a Nazi and there's lots of Nazis and fascists in our government and, and Mossad's. Like, we're throwing you under the bus. Meanwhile, Canadian government, Canadian people are like, oh, it was a mistake. What the fuck are you talking about a mistake? You know how much vetting you have to go through to go into parliament? Not only go into parliament, but have every member of parliament stand up, bow towards you, praise you, and give you two standing ovations with the top generals in Canada standing beside you. You're, you're telling me this guy just said, me, he, 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 he. he. He fought against Russians in World War II. Let's give him a standing ovation. Who the fuck fought against Russians in World War II? Fucking Nazis did. Right? Look, people, please appreciate this. This isn't exaggeration. This isn't, you know, for clicks. This isn't, this isn't, uh, I'm, like, I'm not overstating this right western governments western society is controlled by zionist mossad nazis fascists that will fucking genocide us before they give up power willingly okay please appreciate this we're in a fucking pickle if people don't really understand what it means when a government gives two standing ovations to Nazis, then you don't know shit about history. See ya.